welcome to Tackle Fanatics TV. And in this episode of TFTV, Gardner's Lee Wagner shows you how to tie a super stiff clone rig. Hello, you join me here on RK Leisure's fantastic Horton Complex. Um, I'm actually on Kingsmead Island Lake at the moment, a uh, lake that I've fished for the past three years, the complex on and off. Might get a bit of disturbance as we're under the uh, flight plan of Gatwick Airport, but uh, we'll do our best. Okay, I want to show you a few of the bits and pieces that I've been doing over here, a couple of rigs and uh, some of the lead systems that I use over here. First of all, a lot of lakes you'll go to, they won't have um, the use of lead core allowed and such. Over here it's not bad, it's barbed hooks only, uh, lead cores allowed, and you really do need it on lakes like this. They're absolutely full of uh, underwater obstacles. The topography is mental. The, uh, there's more snails in here than you'd find in a restaurant in France. Anyway, we go on to um, the lead core. Got here around a two foot section of Gardner's Camflex in 45 pound. This is the green version. See, it's white and green flecked. Darkens out, it's really nice underwater. It goes very natural looking. And wherever I can get away with leg, I tend to use it just to give me that confidence in the last uh, few feet. As we move down, you'll see here, I've got a drop off lead system. Uh, nothing brilliant about this. It is what it is now. It's been documented many times, but this is a drop off lead system. We've got a covert tail rubber a three and a half ounce lead I've got here, which is the uh, Gardner inline flat pair. You can see the flared end at the bottom just transfers that extra weight that little bit quicker at the hooking end. Now in the inside with the Gardner leads, you get it's good because you get uh, a couple of options. They come with a soft insert, which are used in a variety of purposes, you know, bag work and stuff like that I find they're quite good for. But I prefer the stiff insert when I'm fishing on gravel bottoms and places where I don't think it's going to be sitting incorrect. Here off the boat, obviously, I can see everything, so it's great. Just put that back in. When we get down to here, we've got a size 8 rig swivel, uh, sorry, size 8 normal rolling swivel. Swivel. Then we've got a gardener cue ring and another swivel. You might be looking at that thinking, why on earth have you got that much business going on? And it's simply down to the hook link material I'm using. This here, is a straight 25 pound Gardner tripwire hook link. Super stiff all the way through, very low memory, nice and straight, kicks everything straight out away from the lead. Here, because it's a barrel swivel, it creates a rolling, rolling pivot point here. That's really important as with a stiff link like this, you don't get any of the mechanics of let's say a coated braid, like an ultra skin, something like that where you strip back the section, you know, so the hook will turn, you know, it gives you a nice section. Size, nice section. Because you haven't got that option there, you've got no mechanics going on at this end, all you've got basically is stiffness. Now, if that was on a normal fixed point, let's just say you pulled an anti-tangle sleeve, some type of sleeving over that, all that would happen when the bait was lifted is this. The hook's lifting sideways, there's no real hooking properties involved in that, it's kind of won't allow the hook to flip over. By doing a two-turn blood knot to the swivel, what this now allows you to do is it creates a point for the hook to drop. Your movement and your mechanics are being created by the swivel. As you can see, just turns on the swivel each time. So the second the bait's lifted, the hook points down. You can see it constantly wants to be down. As we move down to here, we've got the bait attached via a mini rig swivel on which is going on this running D. Now, the benefits I like of using a swivel, uh, quite a few. The first part is it doesn't matter what size of bait you're using. If you're using a 10 mil single pop-up or you want to use two 25 millers, a couple of donkey chokers back to back, you always have the same distance from your, where your uh, hair, or be it in this case your swivel, is exiting your hook. It's always the same difference. So if you want to thread a double bait on, great. You want to thread a tiny one on, it's all the same, all works lovely, so you haven't got to keep messing around. Also, it's great for consistency, because you always end up finishing and mounting the bait halfway down the swivel, you've always got the exact same amount of distance from your hook to your bait. Situations I like to use this rigging, and why do I use this in the first place? You know, there's some fantastic, we said, the ultra skin, I absolutely love it, but in certain situations, certainly on the island lake, where 
you're not casting, you're dropping your rigs from a boat. When you're casting a lead, you get a great chance to hit the clip, which in turn kicks the rig out. Then as you keep your tip high, the pendulum allows the lead to fall and it keeps you at a fair distance away from your lead. It's not all dropping back on top of each other. When you're dropping from a boat, you know, I'm out there in 15 foot of water, you're right over the top of the spot, you're getting blew around by the wind, so if you're dropping a soft rig in there, you're not confident that you've got the full extension dropping all the way through that, you know, that whole body of water to the bottom. With this, no matter what, where you drop it, you'll always get a perfect full extension away from your lead, which is absolutely invaluable to ensure that good fishing. The other times I tend to use it is the complete opposite end of the spectrum. <clears throat> If I'm fishing in shallow water where you could be attacked by the wildlife, you know what they're like, they'll come around, you put in a little tiny bit of bait and they're all over you. Your rods are beeping every minute, constantly having to rechuck, or in this case, boat back out over the spot. It's not conducive to good fishing. You're going to be spooking the fish. Okay, they're going to come back in, but the longer you can leave that rig in the water and without the wildlife touching it, the more chance it'll be a carp that picks up your bait. What I tend to do then in very shallow conditions is where the birds can dive, but I want to fish, I'll fish this rig but I tend to do it with a tiger nut. It'll normally be a cork or a balanced out single tiger nut. Exactly the same setup as that, but just that. That way they're not so prone to diving it. No freebies at all. If there's fish there and I've got a single well positioned tiger nut, that is enough. That is enough. They're there already. You haven't got to like put a ton of bait in for that situation. All you're going to do is ruin your fishing because the wildlife will wipe you out. Good example, I did it exactly this year. This rig, put it straight on there, de developed it basically for here. So I could then, when the wildlife pick up your bait, okay, if you're on a soft hook link and they're picking up your bait, potentially it could go anywhere. It could all be collapsing back on your lead. It could be getting kicked off to the back, the side, wherever, and you haven't got full extension, therefore your hooking props aren't right. With this, because you've always got full extension, okay, it might all, not always fall directly away from your lead how you want it, but even if it falls here, there, there, you've still got extension from your lead and it's still fishing. And as I said, that has caught me fish this year. Give it a whirl, see how you get on with it. Seven inches, Gardner trip wire, simple as that. You've been tuned into TFTV. Tackle Fanatics are a full gardener stockist and offer a massive range of products at the best prices around. We also stock a vast selection of end tackle from all the leading manufacturers. To view our range, log on to www.tacklefanatics.co.uk. Member Tackle Fanatics offer finance to make your tackle purchase more affordable. Tight lines and wet nets from everybody at TFTV.